welcome back to another mukbang. Um, over here is, I've got a garlic naan pizza bread. So it's basically just, it was a garlic and coriander naan bread that I bought. And I just sprinkled some cheese on it, added some onions, peppers, and a tandoori flavoured chicken, which I made myself. It was just a chicken uh, breast and I just flavoured it up. Cooked it off in a pan and chopped it up and added it on. If you want the recipe, tell me and I'll try to upload it the next time I make something like this. Um, and I've got some of my leftover homemade cheese sauce here, which I'm trying to use up. Although I'm sick to death of cheese sauce right now. I've been trying to have it with everything. I don't want to waste. So I'm just going to cut this up. This just came out of the oven and I may have left it in there a tad too long. So it's super crispy. Cut it without destroying the damn thing. Okay. And oh. okay, we've got man getting everywhere. But I've got some cherry flavour lemonade over here. That is such a good flavour lemonade. It's just Tesco's on brand, but it's good. So, hope you can see, here's some of the chicken. That is good chicken. <laughs> I like to put all the onions and peppers on top of the pizza, just so it has a good chance to cook a bit. I really don't like the taste of um, raw vegetables on a pizza. So, and I put the chicken below the cheese so it has it so it doesn't dry out in the oven. Because I feel like the cheese sort of protects it a little bit. Let's dip in some of this cheese sauce. <laughs> that is good. That is really good. Ooh, I'm happy with this. This is good. I love when things turn out well. That is really good. Just for that extra garlicky flavour, because I knew that although it has garlic on it already, I knew it wouldn't come through after all the cheese and the chicken. I sprinkled a little bit of um, garlic powder before I added all the toppings, just to make it a tad garlicky, like so I can taste it a little bit, and it is so good. You could of course use like fresh garlic butter or something, but I just wanted to do something that's quick. You know what? I love a good crunchy crust on a pizza. You know where the cheese bakes into the crust and it's just, um, oh, I feel like the crust is so enjoyable.
thought I would be too sick of the cheese sauce to eat too much of it, but it's good. Just paired together. I always think I'll be sick of cheese after I've had a big quantity until I have it again. And I'm like, oh, I can never get sick of the stuff. <laughs> edges are so crunchy as well because it's not obviously a pizza base, it's naan bread. But I love it like that. Get a piece of the chicken. I finally finished my dissertation. And I still need to touch it up, make sure all the final touches are there, that it's right for submission and right with the references. But the references shouldn't take too long. But as for the main lab report, that's done. I'm really happy about that. So I feel a lot more stress free because that's one big thing over and done with for the year. This is so enjoyable though. I've been craving pizza for a little while, so. <laughs> I won't be able to record too much in the next few, like from next week, I think. Um, Cause Ramadan is starting, I think on the 23rd, although it's not confirmed just yet. Um, Saturday is during that time, regardless of if I'm fasting or not. I don't know if I will be just yet because of health issues. Um, I won't be recording regardless because I feel like that's sort of, if I'm recording what band, I feel like that's taken away from the point of Ramadan anyway. Um, I feel like it would be quite bad for my family, family there eating big meals whilst they're fasting away. So um, I'll put that probably to a stop for now. So these will be sort of pre-recorded videos because um, I won't be recording then, I'm sorry. But I'll hopefully still be uploading recipes and things like that when I can, basically. I don't want to give any promises and so once a week or anything. But even though I might not be uploading um, new videos too often, I am going to try to upload more to my Instagram. Um, so if you feel like following it, the link is in the description. Um, I have I didn't keep up to date with it for a while, and that's just because I was busy. I forget, and plus I'm kind of bad at that kind of thing. I'm I'm not good at keeping up to date on social media. So I'm going to try. I'll try to upload little videos and of what I'm cooking on the day and things like that. So if you feel like following try and I'll try to keep up to it.
I've just spent today watching podcasts. <clears throat> Recently, I've gotten really into just watching random podcasts. I've been watching um, Joe Rogan's pod- uh, podcast, which I only just started doing yesterday. Um, I used to watch uh, H3, H3 before. But, well, I still do, but I recently just got into Joe Rogan's. I also feel like if I see um, Alex Jones on a podcast, I have to watch. I mean, he's so entertaining. Completely crazy, but really entertaining. I love having a good crispy crust. I prefer crispy to soggy. I hate when the bottom of the pizza is soggy. But obviously if you don't like it so crispy, just cook it a bit less. the episode where they're talking about the Pizzagate scandal, which I'd heard about but I didn't quite know what it was. And it's kind of shocking to see, like, if anyone doesn't know, oops, dropping peppers and sweet corn everywhere. So from what I understand from the Pizzagate scandal is that, well what was it? I've already forgotten. into that again because I need to I want to get my head straight around that to say something that's incorrect of course. Mind you when I'm watching these podcasts I'm usually multitasking so I was marinating chicken trying to get this done whilst I'm watching this podcast which I'm not actually I've not finished the podcast either because they're all like two and a half hours long. Um, I think we were talking about the Epstein controversy that went on, you know, with the paedophilia. Um, so basically, anyone who doesn't know about that, this guy is a very, very rich, influential guy, influential dude who owns an island. And on this island, he would have kids for these rich people to basically molest and pay a price and they get whichever kid they want on this island. Um, So this was people like Prince Andrew and stuff like that. And um, 
um, sometimes I like to go back to this topic because it's quite interesting seeing how it changes. Because um, he suddenly killed himself when he was in prison, just before he said he's going to reveal the names of the rest of the people that were in this paedophile ring that he had going. Like everyone who came over to his island to molest these children. He's like, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. And the next moment he's found dead in his prison, prison cell with a rope around his neck. But it looked very dodgy. Um, Bro bones that were broken which shouldn't have been based on how he hung himself, things like that. Now with this, this is why I'm confused because I didn't finish the podcast and I don't think I watched it as well as I should have. So I think I've got some details mixed up. But it was either around the Pizza Gate scandal <clears throat> or the Epstein scandal where they basically uncovered a bunch of emails, like thousands of emails talking about, I think it was the Epstein camp, um, thing. Unless the pizza gate thing came up as a way to sort of distract from the Epstein thing, I don't know. Um, so they uncovered a bunch of these emails where everyone was talking in sort of like coded language and the CIA or whoever was looking over these emails found that these things stand for different that each word stands for something like code so if they said oh we want walnuts this is literal from the conversations like exam literal examples that we use actual so if they said they want walnuts that meant they were referring to kids with brown skin if they said you know things like that um And in these emails, they're talking about hot tub parties with these toddlers. Toddlers. And they're getting all excited about this um, from the emails. So it's just been interesting watching these podcasts, hearing them talking about these things, because... It's controversial, there's a conspiracy around it, like did he kill himself or was he... Did someone get to him first before he could speak out and basically reveal the names of who else was in that ring with him? They can get they can pretty much do what they want. It wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me one bit if they did do something to him. Just trying to get out the last of the cheese sauce. And then I can finally say it's finished. <laughs> I'm 
just mention this because this is basically what I've been watching recently. It's been really interesting to me. I sometimes like a, to have a good book debate or hear about a good debate. That talks about um, transgender issues, you know, like should they be in sports, should there be regulations on sports to prevent um, men who have, trans who have transitioned into female competing with, against females basically, in sports, which is of course very controversial. Like, um, so it's been good hearing both sides of the debate. Because <clears throat> yeah, I think there's a big problem these days where instead of people talking with each other, everyone's out to prove the next one wrong. They're there to basically cancel you. There's that big cancel culture going on right now where if you say one thing that's just... And you could have legit proof to what you're saying, you could have a good reason for it. If you're always trying to search for opinions which back up yours, it's an unhealthy mindset. You know, you're never going to experience anything new. You know, how are you supposed to show any personal growth if everything that everyone said has to be in line with what you said? You could be wrong at the end of the day. You have to be open to hearing other people's opinions to develop as a person, I think. Um, just because for myself, I can be quite opinionated and get quite frustrated when someone else's opinion isn't in line with my own. So, I'm not saying it's like I'm perfect or something. Because I'm just as guilty of that. But this is why I enjoy watching these podcasts. good healthy debate. I don't like that opinion that some people have that you're either with me or you're against me because you don't agree with my opinions, you're a scummy person. Why should I associate myself with you? I don't like that way of thinking. And unfortunately, I'm seeing that a lot more these days. You know, I hate to say it, but social justice warriors. Life isn't that way. You, Most people, I think, feel like they need time to also come to accept things. Like, you know, uh, well, I will get too deep into things like that. I think that's a bit too much. Plus, we're nearing the end of the mukbang, so.
I just don't think life is black and white. Yeah. Where there's solid right and wrong opinions. I think the majority of the time it's situation dependent. Obviously, this doesn't refer to things like racism and things like that, obviously, you know. That's always a wrong thing, I mean. But in terms of the example of um, transgenders and sports, there's no black and white thing there, I think. And I think, my personal opinion is that the women, people who are um, born female, should be the ones to say if they're happy with that or not. Because I feel like, <laughs> imagine you're in a boxing match with someone who transitioned from male to female. I personally think there's going to be a much bigger chance of the male, the transgender, sorry, winning. And I don't know if a female athlete would feel comfortable against someone who she knows is clearly has a biological advantage to win this match. And in that case, it should be up to them. It shouldn't be a case of anyone can just do anything because you're not allowed to argue against it because that's social justice. I don't think it's that simple. controversial like that my opinion is this when you try to push something so fast which the majority like the majority of people are already going to have a tough time accepting something like that because it is controversial there's clear clear pros and cons to allowing transgenders to compete with athletics and things like that against women or you know, you get, I'm sure you get what I'm trying to say. I just don't want to repeat myself too much. Um, I think sometimes you need to allow that conversation. You can't just say, okay, this is what I want, this is what's going to happen, and I'm going to complain and cry and shout if it doesn't happen. And your scum, F you, if it doesn't happen. I just don't think life works that way. And this is where I get quite frustrated when I'm watching these sort of debates when you see things like this. So I like to see a healthy debate. And this is why I'm kind of really getting into watching podcasts or listening to podcasts and things like that. I feel like it's a great way to start these kind of conversations. And I think when you talk about it in a more logical, what's the word, calm debate where you're talking to each other on a level, you're not talking like you're accusing them of anything, that's when things move better. You can't just shout and scream your way to success and hope for the best. I just don't think it works that way. But um, yeah, that's enough for now. I think I've said enough. Um, my thoughts are sort of all over the place. But I still hope you enjoyed the mukbang. Try it out, it's really good with naan bread with a bit of the extra garlic. But um, if you enjoyed the recipe, please, uh, the mukbang, then um, yeah, if you feel like, like and subscribe. If you feel like you can follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. I'll try to leave a link for my cheese sauce recipe. I uploaded it very recently anyway. Uh, I'm just quite forgetful when it comes to this kind of thing. Um, and I'll hopefully upload more soon. Although obviously things are going to sort of come to a bit of a slow for the next month, month I think. But, um, anyway, I hope you have a lovely day, stay safe, and see you next time.